Joining us this week on Socratic Spotlight is current TSC seventh grader Soli Gunder. She is artistic, creatively inclined. She wants to be a director, it sounds like. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you did for school prior to TSC and what brought you to TSC and how do we differ from previous schools? All right, thank you for the introduction. Uh, I've gone to about four different schools in the past before I joined TSE. Two of them were in person and they were exact opposites. One was very conservative. They acted like a private school, even though they're public, lots of uniforms and traditional things. But the other one was almost the exact opposite. We didn't have uniforms. They had like a farm in the backyard. They had very loose teaching styles and both schools did not go very well for me. I didn't enjoy them and I don't feel like I was learning much either. But when we went to an online school, that was a first time for me that I started to progress from the others. I started to kind of grapple with the concept more. And they even had a class for making videos and a bit of a foresight there. I loved that class. I did every video. I loved it so much. I got good grades in that class, but we ended up deciding to leave because we moved. And then my parents came to me one day and they said in the kitchen, we found this new school. They give you experience days. You can test it out and tell us if you want to go there. And I was like, well, it might be like the last few schools, but I might as well try it out. So I came to my experience day and I was just blown away. I was participating in the discussion. And for the first time in my life, the teacher actually listened. The kids cared about what I said and they made their own points as well. We built off of each other and I was just so blown back. I came back from the meeting and I was like, I want to go to this school. This is so amazing. It's so different. And I've been coming ever since. So it sounds like the intellectual rigor of the program, um, the kind of the purposeful environment. Um, we have a lot of pur very purposeful students that we tried to curate a culture of purpose at TSE where students are creative, entrepreneurial, or intellectually curious. It sounds like it's kind of all of the above, the whole community kind of pushing you to be the best that you can be peers and guides alike. I've seen a huge improvement in just myself overall, my artistic perspectives, my ability to speak and put together what I'm thinking in words and just have more meaningful conversations overall. And I think TSE has been a giant part of that. I see improvement in each of the classes I take from where I start, and it's just really amazing for me. What were your goals prior to coming to the Socratic experience and how have your how has your how have your future goals kind of evolved um, as you've been with us for the last I think it's year and a half now, right? Yes, year and a half. Prior to joining TSC, personally, my goals were all over the place. I just wanted to get through school and whatever I wanted to do after that. I wanted to do. I went through being a lawyer, wanting to be an astronaut for a while, just quite literally anything, wanting to go into real estate. And then when I joined TSE, I took the purpose and well-being electives. I'm not sure if it was called that at the time, but I went to classes with Albert and Michael Lone, and they made these discussions that made me really think on is that what I want or what do I enjoy that I could turn into a career? And what's something that has all of the aspects that I'd want to learn? And eventually directing came to mind. I was like, movies have a whole lot of story, a whole lot of art and acting and cosplay stuff that I was really passionate about at the time. And it really made me realize that's what I want to do with my life. And then I saw the podcasting class and I just launched from there. I started researching about it. I knew what I wanted to do. I started like animating and thinking about it in my mind. And this year I started to go to Video House, which has Eric, Eric Lassard, who works on movies. 
and he's just really helped me see the behind scenes and all of the little aspects that I wouldn't have learned otherwise. And it's been a giant improvement for me. What do you think of the mentorship program? My current mentor is Eric Lassard, because at the beginning of the year, I, cho I chose my humanities teacher, which was Luis. And that's when I didn't know about Eric. And once I found out about Eric, I was like, hey, can we meet up and discuss some stuff after class? Like I have some questions about the shots and like how you get angles, lighting. And after we had that meeting, Noelle reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want Eric to be your mentor? Because you guys have similar lines of where you want to go and you've been meeting together a bunch. And I was like, oh my gosh, sure. And we, every, every time we meet, I just love it every time. It's like a lesson, but it's more centered directly to me. And that's really nice. Rather than being more generic, it's a lot more directed each mentor meeting. And I can ask for advice on things that are happening in school or specific, specific things on how to move forward. Like I made this diorama for two months, working on it just about five hours a day, five days a week for a very long time. And I want to make a little film inside of that. So we were talking about green screening characters into it or stop motion animation. And it's just been really cool. And at my other schools, we never had that. You never had a mentor. You never were centered, no teacher, just focused on just you unless you were in trouble. And it's just a huge difference that really, really is it because I'm not in trouble. <laughs> What other electives are you taking? I think you're in drawing as well. I took drawing last year and I loved it. But the class is full this year, so I just draw on my own. But I am in purpose and well-being, Spanish. I'm taking creative photography and video house. So I'm in four electives. Which classes are you taking for your core classes? And how how have those differed from previous schools that you attended? So I'm taking Humanities with Karen and I'm taking STEM with Joshua. He's a great teacher. Humanities specifically has been a giant difference for me. I love Humanities, just the concept of it. I really like discussing paintings and getting into the details and kind of making your own backstory for it. And like, oh, why is this background character here? Especially the fact that there's such ancient famous paintings really makes me think like this has a meaning people wouldn't just make it for fun for like four years so it's been really fun for me I also like the texts we work on we did uh, the yellow wallpaper and the overcoat and those are always fun uh right now we're working on the alchemist which has an audio feature and I think that's been particularly nice because it's more clear than swapping voices and I just really love the story and being able to write on it and get into it again is really cool. As for STEM, it's really changed my perspective on math to a degree. Personally, I'm not as invested with math because it's not as direct as some of my other classes to what I want to be, but I do want to you know, get a base level of math in order to graduate and stuff. And Joshua in particular, he called math an art, a type of art, and I'd never thought about it like that. And it's just really changed my perspective and made me think from a different point of view about it. And that's always a good thing. He's put emphasis on the way that most of us are taught math in public schools or private schools takes out all of the joy just sucks it out right out of you and just depletes it, throws it away. And he described it almost as if you learned only music notes, like all of music theory, but you had never heard a single song up until it became your profession. And that just blew my mind because I was like, I would hate that. I would hate that so much. I love music, but I loathe music theory. So it made me think on, could math be like that? Like school just teaches us the base formulas and then the gift that math gives you 
doesn't come to you until it it's like way beyond and the way i think about it is that would be the problem solving the finding the gritty details of why an acute angle is so different from a straight line or how a straight line is an angle and just really finding your own perspectives on that and something he also said was that it's you get to have opinions on it and you get to find your own reasons for these things and i never thought about it like that i was always described one plus one equals two because it does now write it down and memorize it for the next 30 years so it was just really cool and it's helped me think about math and how the problem solving is the fun part of it and it's made me think i like problem solving i want to do that and it's helped me get more motivated for math what about the mastery math program have you like how have you progressed through that in the math tutoring center have you utilized that Oh, yes. Last year, I went to the tutor cen tutoring center a lot more than I do this year because I had class time to do it. And I went to the tutoring center to do the math and I really loved it. It was nice because I could do it for 30 minutes. I had my own goals set. I was working it out, no interruptions. And it was really fun. I thought it was really helpful because it was just me, it was just my motivation, just what I wanted to do, my opinions, how I did the problems. And then if I needed help on something, then there was still someone there for me. So it was the best of both worlds. Your mom was talking about Spanish on one of the open houses. So um, how have you enjoyed the, the Spanish program at TOC? I really love Spanish. I want to become I want to learn a lot more languages and I started with Spanish because it's a second second language of Florida, which is where I moved. And um, personally, I love so much about the culture, just the food, the day of the dead, the decorations, just everything that centers around it, emphasis on the food. And I was like, I want to visit Mexico. I want to see this in person. I want to be immersed in the culture, but I have no idea what anyone is saying so i started learning spanish on duolingo personally after my first year because i wanted to start something i was like learning language can never be a bad thing because imagine how many more people you could communicate with and learn about and it was really cool so i started taking the spanish elective and at first i couldn't formulate any sentences I didn't know practically anything, but as she kept on teaching us these things one at a time, she'd give us simple yet very, very useful lessons. And we have this one subject for a week. So I have a week to memorize everything and it's helped me be able to start formulating sentences, define meanings, and I can read Spanish very clearly. Even if I've never heard the words before in my life, I can read it so perfectly and she's really but emphasis on that and helps me with that. Like rather than pronouncing ella, which equals which means girl, um, as Ella as the name, she helped me with that. And she's helped me with the accent and rolling my R's, which I could not do at first. She's been very helpful in learning the language. How has how is the peer culture different from some of your previous schools? And how have you benefited from friendships relationships that you've created in the in the program with your peers the moment you said peer culture my mind just went oh yes i get to talk about this i love the peer culture it's absolutely amazing i don't know how they do it i'm so lucky to have students around me who are pushing themselves to keep on finding things out and doing philosophy and finding out that they want to do this and finding the dips and the up points in achieving their goals and going directly to it and even making them happen while in class while being able to talk to the students. I have a few students specifically that I really look up to. They're seniors this year. So I'm 
they had to leave, but they've been very helpful and I've just found every one of them so inspiring. They're really what makes the discussion so great. I hear these great perspectives and these great ideas and these growing opinions and being able to work them out as a debate and showing each other each other's perspective in a calm way. And I just, I absolutely love the peer culture. I have some really close friends that I've been able to trust easily, that I talk to almost every day, that I text all the time, that I met in TSE. And I just really formed these strong connections that I never had before in my life. And I would have never met them if I hadn't gone to TSE because they're in different parts of the world. We've had a lot of students on who have spoken about the diversity of the program and just kind of being in class with, you know, kids from all over the country and all over the world. Is that it sounds like that's something that you really appreciate about TSC too? I have a best friend in Ireland, Seattle, and Texas. And it's it's been quite diverse. I've seen a lot of different cultures. You have people from Mexico, some parts in Africa, Guatemala. We've got some people up in Greece, and it's just been so cool. Like, I got a teacher up in Canada for my humanities, and it's really cool seeing everyone's different perspectives and how culture affects different people. We even talk about that a lot in purpose and well-being, like how does culture affect who you are and religion, how that affects everything. And I think it kind of goes into this other subject we talk about is, is anything truly your own or is it just influences around you? And that personally resonated with me a bunch. I think about it all the time. And it's really cool because we have so many different opinions. Is there a transition period? My, Michael, and I've heard guides speak a little bit about sometimes there's a transition period where students come from an environment where they don't have a lot of freedom to kind of explore their interests or a lot of opportunities to talk about their interests. They're coming from a school where it's mostly the teacher talking at them the whole time. So is there a little bit of a transition period, maybe for you or for other students that you notice where they're kind of quiet in the beginning and sort of just becoming acquainted with the whole process? Definitely. I have two of my best friends that I've met at TSC and me specifically had that happen at first. I think that for me, it was once I found out that I could talk, I just exploded. Like my ideas exploded, my passion to learn exploded, my drive to just do anything just rocketed. And with my friends, it was a bit slower. At the beginning of the year, they almost never talked, but as they continued, to interact with the subjects, they started being some of the like guiding people in the class. And that's how I really started bonding with them and how I learned more about them. And I see it all the time in other students in my classes that started out being quiet and shy, but now are starting to state their opinions and apologize less for talking. And it's just really nice to see because I've seen some really beautiful people come from this little like, corner to being up front. Overall, what does TSC mean to you? If you could describe TSC in a in a phrase or a sentence or or even just a word, what does it mean to you? How has it how has it really impacted your life and certainly compared to other schools that you attended? TSC has been a community that really became the key to what I needed to find out and I had been trying to find up until this point in my life. And once that door opened, I just saw who I was. I started realizing so much about myself. I started being able to fathom my past and things that had happened to me, why I reacted to them and how to react to them in the future. And it's still showing me more and more things in my world. And it's just been absolutely amazing. I know what I'd do without TSE or who I'd be. What else do you think people should know about your experience at TSE? I think that the teacher 
friendships are something that's been really rare. I personally never had them at any other school. And what's so impactful about it is that it goes from someone who knows everything about everything, telling you what like they want you to hear, but not saying it with the right words to the point where you hear it, to someone on your level learning with you, just with a different perspective and way of talking that makes it so you understand and so you can expand on their ideas. It's just, it really develops so much of a higher connection than it did at any of my other schools. As, were there any barriers, I guess, to getting you to consider TSC when your parents first mentioned it? W- was there any skepticism about going online or anything like that? Were you just like, I'm not really sure about that, but I'll give it a chance? There was a lot. It wasn't the online aspect because I'd already gone to an online school and it went fine. But... <laughs> Having a bad experience at every other school you've gone to when you've tried three just totally opposite options kind of drains you. (laughs) You start believe you stop believing in school being a learning fun experience that it is and all of the stories and ads and pretty much every time it's mentioned, I was just so drained of everything for it I hated it so much so of course when my parents said it's a school and I associated school with bad things I was like oh no (laughs) but like I said after that experience today I realized that it wasn't school it was learning I was like I like learning (laughs) and it helped me see the difference there personally I still hate school I love TSC (laughs) That's amazing. Well, unless there's anything else you want to mention, I think that this was a great interview and it was a really a pleasure to talk to you. And I've seen you so much on the open houses watching the recordings, but really cool to connect with you, Soli. Yes, thank you. I really liked this interview.